said it's only the second quarter yeah. where they started getting hot from outside. Was it a matter of them just, just hitting open books? Or? I mean, it was really a matter of turnovers. That's what turned the game. And we had so many. I mean, 23 turnovers. We had 11 in the first quarter. Um, and, you know, they got a four-point play, which cut it to 13. Then we turned it over in back-to-back possessions, which I believe cut it on double single digits, you know. Um, yeah, and then we didn't do a very good job of – of reading their drives, they you know we when they when we collapsed, they kicked it out. They made the right play, um, shot the ball extremely well. Probably a pretty strong first quarter. It was pretty quiet after that. The big defenders. No, we got to do a better job of getting ahead of the ball. You know, I mean, they did a good job of being physical with them, and they did a good job of making. But that's nothing. Nothing you haven't seen before. You know, he's got to get the ball. We got to get more touches. We got to get the ball going through him a lot more. That's that's on me. Offensively, maybe in the second half, uh, how much do you miss Beasley? Yeah, I mean, well, you know, we miss all of our guys. I mean, we've been a team of, uh, you know, of a of a deep. We've been a deep team. We've had guys, you know, play well throughout the roster. Um, you know, we miss those guys, uh, both of them. You know, the, both the offense and the defense that they've been giving us. Second half. Uh, yeah, they, I mean they're very fit. They're physical. They're very handsy. If you draw on it, if you play in a crowd, they're going to take it from you. Um, and they, um, you know, they're, they're they're a great defensive team. Um, they, you know, a lot of our. I mean, we had a lot of turnovers. They're just dumb. You know, like just silly turnovers, just throwing the ball out of bounds off of outlet passes and stuff like that. I don't. You know. Chase for the six seed. Kind of how do you how do you do it? Uh, I view it as I view it at every single point. Just going to try to win the game, win as many games as we possibly can, let the chips fall where they may. You know. You spoke before the game about Siak and the strides that he's making back to that three bubble form. Tonight he kind of showed the sort of full range of what he's he's got. And, uh, what would you see from him today? Yeah, I mean he's you know super dynamic right now at the moment. He's pushing. He's getting to the paint early. He's making the right play. Teammates are capitalizing for him. I see, it was triple double for him tonight. Um, you know, and and he and he really guards at a high level too. So he's he's playing, you know, really really good basketball, and is you know big reason why they've you know won ten of twelve or whatever it is. You know, so. Coach uh, with Towns, I know you talked about this, but in terms of the guard skills, there was one play where in transition he ran the length of the court, I think Euro stepped and then like dumped it. Like, wouldn't you see him do things like that at that speed for a seven footer? Just what do you think? Yeah, I think I'm really lucky, and you know I got to use him more. <laughs> All right. John. Hey, Chris, uh, the, the amount of open looks that they had from three, was that just their good passing and stuff? Do you guys have to do a better job of contesting those looks or? Yeah, we do. We have to do a better job of reading those ga- uh, drives. You know, a lot of those were non-threatening drives and we were sinking on way too much on them um, and they were kicking out. So. Does it feel, did, did you feel like this team is in a, just a little bit of a funk right now? Just so when you, you see, I don't know, the, the body language and, and, and stuff out there. Yeah, a little bit, you know, a little bit. Um, things are tough right now. we got to plow through them. Um, but uh, we'll be, you know, this team's bounced back well. So, um, you know, shake this one off again. Try to get the next one. Chase. Chris, what's the biggest thing D'Angelo can do better right now? Uh, you know, he's just got to step into a shot and make him. He's getting good open looks. Um, you know, stay confident in his shot. You know, knock it down. It'll come. Brett. Chris, uh, you, you went with a high wall in the preseason because it lined up with your personnel so well, and it, it it's obviously served you really well. Do you have the personnel to play other types of defense well, do you think, besides that defense? Um, you know, at times, I think sometimes that's matchup driven. Is it hard to um, vary off it now, knowing, you know, what you have uh, with that and knowing you need to win games? I mean, I know, you know, you used it tonight, but there was a lot of other yeah. variations. Yeah, I, I know, like, uh, you know, we try to vary, but I, I don't know. I, I try not to make too much of these snap judgments on what we just saw until we go back and read the tape. Um you know, I don't know how much the high wall hurt us or was more just like penetration and gap help. I think that was probably, you know, felt a little bit more like the, the issue there. And it seemed like you came out with exactly the kind of energy that you wanted in the first quarter and you were 
concentrating on, uh, I think you're concentrating on Siakam and Van Vliet and doing a good job of shutting them down. I mean, aside from the turnovers, it was a good start, wasn't it? Yeah, it was outstanding start, you know, and a lot of those turnovers are real deflating plays, um, you know, and they did a great job of making us pay for every single one of them. Dane. Chris, what have you seen from Jalen Noel as a defender in, in this last handful of games where you've been without Jaden and then also without Malik? Yeah, I mean, he's done a good job of put, picking up and uh, trying to be bothersome with his ball pressure. All right, thanks, Okay, thanks, guys.